Man, you, you guys are insane, man. What's going on? It's your boy, All Time. I'm back with another video. Specifically, you guys know the title. You guys know what time it is. But guys, at the time of me recording this, I think I was like, I was about to go to the gym, right? It was yesterday. I was about to go to the gym. I make, I make the poll. I'm gonna put it on my screen over here. But I make the poll. And within like an hour, it had 20 votes. And I was like, wow, I didn't really expect people to, you know, interact with it that much. Guys, 82? Look at that. 82? Hold on. Look at that. My camera won't focus, but 82 as the time I'm recording this. You guys are crazy, bro. <laughs> you guys are crazy. And another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about before I start the video is that I feel like with a lot of these videos that I'm doing, specifically manga, I got a little bit off track with my mentality and like how I went about these things. And I'll elaborate very shortly and briefly. For a while that I grown that I grew up, I watched anime and I would read manga. And as I would read manga, I I guess I got too comfortable, right? Your boy got a little too comfortable with the colored stuff and again to me, you guys made me like rethink it, and the more I continue with not just this series, but with other series moving forward, I'm going to be a little bit more reflective on it. And and you know, plus I didn't I, I didn't really get the opportunity to make my poll after my Jojolian series, anyways. So thank you guys so much for like you know interacting with that. I really appreciate y'all. Like you guys are, I wouldn't ask for any other fans, man. You, you not even fans, but subscribers and all that stuff. You guys are awesome. But anyways, uh, like the video, dislike if you don't like it, I'm perfectly cool with that. Um, in this video, there's going to be a bit of a change. But besides that, not necessarily. It, that's that's it. We're, we're, we're just going to be doing us like usual. And considering, check out my drawing video too. Because uh, I elaborate more on it. But considering I'm thinking about making my own manga, mangas in general, or just drawing. So, you know, I've been drawing for a while now. And storyboarding and drawing and, and ma or drawing out the story to just drawing in general. It's like I, I want to get used to that again because I felt like I got a little too comfortable with the idea of colored, you know, the, the, the color manga. The official coloring of JoJo's is beautiful. Like shouts out to the official coloring. But I guess we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna change it up a bit. So yeah, I'll see you guys in JoJo Lance. <laughs> Jojo Ranzu. Also, yeah, before the video starts, grab your snacks, get comfortable. These things are sort of like movies, with the discussions along with us reading in general, so always get comfortable. I'm always gonna have fun doing these things, and as for other mangas and other series, like I've been saying for a while, I'm gonna be posting some stuff on my community tab and being really active in not just this live, but in future lives and premieres along with comment sections so that's why i say always comment and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss i got members as well check out the members if you guys want to but anyways we're back with the video yeah get your snacks i mean that okay i got my drink here so yeah <laughs> of course it's gonna be a little experimental but jojo lands here we go i think we had this pulled up in my previous video like towards the end when we were checking out the covers for the uh, for the original, but the Ultra Jumped. This is volume two, I believe. The volume covers, clean. We're gonna go check out the other ones whenever we have the chance to. But yeah, this is it without text. It looks so clean. Look at my duo here. This is the new duo. This is something we're gonna have to get used to. And as far as we are, I'm used to it already. I'm loving Dragona and Jody. I am. The Dark Clouds Hang Over Hawaii, Chapter 10, The Hustle, Part 1, The Jojo Lands, Part 9. So yeah. Here we are with the Jojo Lands. And yes, guys, 
as you guys can tell in my intro, along with the poll and everything, I heard you guys loud and clear. And whether it's preference, whether it's reasonings, comments, all that type of stuff, I took everything into consideration, along with my own opinion too. And yeah, I don't mind. I told you guys, I don't mind. So yeah, we're going to do it. The black and white, the original. We'll see how this video goes, see how you guys feel about it. And, you know, continuing moving forward, we might stick with this. And plus, when we do catch up, it'll be easier because we won't have to wait for colorings. We'll just have the chapter right then and there. So, and also let me know when the chapters come out. Is it every 16th, 17th, 20th? Y'all said it in my first video a long time ago, like a month or two ago. But yeah, we're back with the owner of the Lava Rock. The mysteries that linger over Hawaii. See you guys in JoJo Lance. If you ignore the warnings, all that awaits you is death. I'm not gonna scream, bro. I'm not, I'm not. Guys, we're not gonna scream. So who is this person though? That's that's the question that I had in my last video. Who is this person? And is this person going to be important moving forward, bro? Jodio, you got to get up, my boy. Get up. Get up. Who the hell? Who the hell are you? <gasps> Come here, Paco. Grab that. Do the hustle. Don't sleep on Paco. What did I say? What did I say, bro? Okay. Ura. What was that, a stand? That dirt looking stuff floating around his face. It has a texture, it's a real stand. And every bit of it is rock fragments with different colors. Who the hell are you? How long have you been following us? Was it before even when we got to the Mangaka's villa? Ah, so you're saying if we don't surrender, the only path left is violence, huh? You sure you want that asshole? That just happens to be my area of expertise. If it's the lava rock you're after, there's no way in hell we're handing that over. Hold up, hey, Paco's about to throw them hands. Wait a minute. What's the design? Is, is this some type of fun, fun, fun situation? Like, what's going on here? Like, and I say fun, fun, fun because that was like the first opponent that we really fought for real. I mean, you could say Rohan was that character or sort of that archetype. But this is like the real, or maybe the cat. But is this a sort of... And I heard him say rock fragments. Is he a rock human? I'll scream right now. <laughs> Don't stop it. Stop. Come on, dodge. Ooh! Out the way the hustle. It's not gonna hit him. Oh, he's getting outworked. Why is I don't bro, why is Paco like this though? Why is he like this? What the heck is up with his neck? It feels so weird. It feels like that core stand too. How about I strangle you? Wait, it's above him forming again. It's like a what is he, Garo from Naruto? What the, what? Wait a minute, he's a Logia user from One Piece. <laughs> Wait, you can't, you can't actually hurt him, you gotta be a Logia user. That's essentially what I'm getting from this. What? What the hell is this dirt floating around him? The dirt fragments can amass together in a way that screws up my perception of how far they are. This guy fused with his left arm, with the image of the clouds in the sky behind him. That reminds me, wait a minute guys, you guys remember Chocolate Disco from Steel Ball. Remember how, remember when Gyro was fighting him and he could interrupt his perception? It was like, that's what it kind of reminds me of. That's how memorable the Steel Ball run stands are. But it's like a hand-to-hand -hand combat scenario. Jodio still damaged though. Ooh, but Jodio was stabbed in the neck. So like, ah, man. Jodio, are you breathing? Wake up and stick a bandaid on it or something. Jodio, get next to me. He's coming. This guy's bad news. You can be sure that he's still somewhere around here. I can't see him, but he's here. <laughs> Jodio, maybe this is a weird question, but is this guy even human? No. He's got to be human, but his skin is like sand. Looks like that all worked out fine. Yup, it went perfect. Uh-huh. Nice one. Cheers. Man, where did Rohan get this? Yum. Ah, huh? Jodio, sorry we took so long. It only worked on one of the luxurious watches for some reason, but I'm sure it's going to stay that way and come back to me eventually. Even though we did use the lava rock, it felt kind of illegal. The chances of us getting arrested are at zero. It'll come back through events totally unrelated to us, like due to somebody else's greed or something. It moves worth things of money, though it means of people's feelings. This lava rock is freaking amazing. 
Yeah, you bet we can't lose that diamond either. Hey, you guys, shut it and quit running your mouths. He's gonna strike at any second. Dragona, we're under attack right now. This enemy is someone who knows even more about us than the Lava Rock. Huh? The Mafia? That's what this guy said when he transformed himself into, like, Paco. Jodio, I don't think this guy's Mafia. He was just blowing smoke trying to scare us and back us into a corner. If he really was Mafia or so, or a pro knife user, you wouldn't have gone away with just a graze on your neck. His knife skills ain't up to snuff either, for an assassin anyhow, but still. But this guy's body, there's something nutty going on with it. He fused into the form of the freaking clouds. I couldn't tell the difference between him and the clouds that were kilometers away. It should be a stand ability, but I don't know how to describe it. This guy. This enemy. What's his deal? Are we gonna be able to make it to the plane and get home? Of course we're gonna eliminate him. I'd rather not have to stay overnight in Hawaii, thank you very much. Dear, this is just so lovely, thank you. This was so nice of you. I love it so much, Leo-kun. It's made of even more dazzling than usual. That watch really fits you, your glistening skin perfectly, doesn't it? What's going on there? Those two, they just came out of the watch shop. <gasps> no way. Please don't blind me, my dazzling angel from the heavens. Oh dear, please keep going, I love that. What the hell? She's got the watch on her wrist. No way. Hold on, you're gonna, John. Don't think of it like that. Think of it as the watch just moving from the inside of the store to the outside. And it didn't get kicked out of the plane or anything, right? So, it looks like it's coming back to you already. That sure didn't take that long. <gasps> oh, yeah, it happened due to the causes unrelated to us. It came out of the store to their feelings, right? Great, I'm so excited. Mm. Guys, let's go back to the car. We're at a disadvantage in an open place like this. He's gonna come at us with some sort of trick. Mm, that might be a good idea. Let's go back to the car and floor it. Being behind the closed doors of a car might be a good defense against this guy. We'll lower him to the car and do him in. Hey, would you put some sunscreen on me? If I put it on myself, I'd be getting it on my new watch. Hmm. I'd be glad to. That woman. She just took off the watch of her wrist and put it on the table. Hey, are those people for real? They stuck it on top of the napkin. That's food scraps from the french fries and some orange sauce. They wiped it off with their mouth. Who does that with an $80,000 watch? Are you seeing this? Oh, Dragona Chan. Come on, let's go back to the car. Don't worry about it. The watch is going to be fine. No need to stand here and watch it. It's just on one stop of its long journey to eventually come back to us, you know. Yeah, but there's a different dilemma to consider of this watch, I mean. I can't stand the idea of that fuzzy woman getting bits of her food and her grubby fingerprints all over it. Dragona Chan, don't steer away from us. Come on, let's go. The birds, you're kidding, right? Hey, 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 look over there! Hey, that bird has it! It's coming this way! Guys! I knew it'd end up coming back to me. The, the watch, it's back! Look! It's coming this way! Hmm? Yes, it's happening already. It's headed right back to where the lava rock is. Wait, Dragona, something's not right. Hold on, don't touch the watch. No way. She's wearing the watch. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Why didn't I see that coming? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I just started coughing. Two things. Two, there's two things. There's two things. One, this, let's just call it like the law of attraction so far, right? Or like, or I don't even want to say the law of attraction, but let's just call this the lava rocks attraction or the mechanism so far. The mechanism takes longer than what we think. So we don't know, we don't know how long it's going to take for Dragona to get the watch back. So I told you guys, it could be the end of the manga, which would be crazy, or it could be the middle of the manga. For all we know, Dragona will get that watch back. Whether Dragona is alive to get that watch or not, Dragona will get the watch back. Excuse me, but besides that, the enemy literally pulled up like, that's really cool though. So this this user stand until we get the stat card sort of is like he sort of can he, he's sort of like a, a Logia user from One Piece in some way like he can't really be touched but also um, I mean I'm only guessing a stand user could hit him and then he's gonna feel the pain of it maybe but hitting him and in his perception of, of what is close it reminds me of Chocolate Disco from Steel Ball like using glass or using his uh, his reflection within himself to kind of what you think for and all the Dragona! 
Nah, man. Not this early. No, bro. Not, not best baby girl. What are we doing? <laughs> bro, what is going on? No. Oh, oh my, it looks so bad. Damn it, don't let him get away. Look at Jodio's face, bro. You pissed him off. Hey. Did you see the way Jodio looked? He looked so pissed off. He was like, "You really just did that?" That's so cool, though. He cares. He cares, man. And I, and that makes me really happy. This is bad. Very smooth operators. Slide and pull it outside. The wound. Near lethal damage, the emergency operation begins. To be continued. Really though? Really? Really? That whole- okay, so the whole chapter was them just fighting each other. Okay. A little bit is like some goofy gaff moments, but it was them just fighting this- 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 this owner, allegedly. I gotta check out the cover art. We'll talk in a minute. I know I'm not talking that much. Last video I was talking a lot, so I'm trying to minimize that a little bit, a little bit. The Jojo Lands, great danger reigns from above. Chapter 11, The Hustle, part two. What are y'all thinking? I swear, like seeing Jodio get that mad, it was kind of crazy though. It was like, we haven't seen Jodio that mad since chapter one, when when the cops tried touching Dra like Dragona. I, I, I swear guys, I would have freaked out if I saw them, them eyes flare up. I want to see, this is what I want to see before I start the video. I want to see, or not even when I start, no, no, no. Later moving forward, I want to see Jodio get Dark Determination. We saw Gappy have it twice. Was it twice? It was either twice or three times. But he had it twice, and then Johnny, he had it multiple times. Johnny was, Johnny was crashing out the whole... <laughs> the whole part he was getting so mad and that makes me it it, it it invoked like a level of hypeness bro so with jodeo i want him to get dark determination in some way i don't know how it would have been very early too but yeah also part two we back in it i'll see you guys in the jojo lands the operators team working as one pull the wound hurry slide it outside smooth operators pull ah uh dragonachan you're okay dragonachan thank goodness hi i Jeez, I'm so freaking glad you're okay. I just felt this sense of despair wash over me like I was about to lose everything. That made me realize something really important. Dragonachan, when I came on this trip to the island of Hawaii, I finally came to understand this feeling swelling up inside of my chest. I realized that I'm in love with you. Yeah, thanks, but we siblings aren't particularly interested in that. More importantly, this guy swiped the lava rock. Wait, <laughs> did he just did he just try to confess? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> He just said, you know what, throughout this whole trip, I loved you. And, and then Dragona's just like, that's nice and all, but uh, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you tried, Usagi. You tried your best, my boy. <laughs> you tried. Anyways, that reminded me of, like, honestly, when he was trying to, like, confess to Jotaro during part six when the end was happening with Made in Heaven. That was That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Don't let him get away. We came to this island to make money. We can't tell this guy apart from a bird or a cloud. He screws up everything with your depth and perception and perspective. He confused with that shit. We don't even know if he's walking on the ground. That's Dragona's brooch on the ground over there. Dragonachan. That, that guy's carrying a big knife. If we can detect the metal, we can track him. Tell the Mate Kurasai you want that. Say I want a metal detector. Oh, take a look at this. Looks like Jodio hurt that guy's right leg with his rein. He's bleeding. And that left a trail. Huh? Mm, really? When I touched the skin, it was gritty-like, or sand, or some shit. Hell, I'm gonna get him. But that's two way to tell which one who he is. This guy ain't him. What the hell, man? I'm reporting this to the police. Mm hmm? Also, guys, one thing that I noticed, the black and white is so clean. Besides that, though, something that's being... Again, correct me if I'm wrong. I will probably check at the end of this video, or maybe after my recording. But 
the go 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 thing it's still prominent in this part i'm just saying guys i know it's a little too early and i'm not gonna wild out but just peep that keep that in mind though that wasn't jajon and i don't know if that was in steel ball or not if it was then it was but we digress. I'm not gonna, no theory crafting right now, but okay. Well, don't go sticking your fingers in weird places on the ass, okay? Oh dear, that was only because you hadn't put on your sunscreen. You gotta be thorough with your skin or you'll be botchy, okay? Time to go snorkeling. Hey, you guys, you gonna stand there looking like the clouds are all day or something? You're blocking the dang car. It's gonna get dark soon. You hear me, morons? I said get out of my way. <laughs> hmm, your throat, what's going on here? Your skin's all sticky from the sunscreen, plus there's that beard. Oh, I know. Here's what we'll do with you. Stick your right angle on in the door and show it to me, got it? And tell your girlfriend to do it too. If she is your girlfriend, both of you show your ankles so we can see if you're injured or not. Huh? Hold on. Huh? Huh? Jody already knew. Hey, he peeped in and said, Get out the car and get- Ooh, that was kinda clean though. <laughs> that was kinda clean. Right. Come on, kick him! That's my boy, Chodio. Stop playing with him. He he's like that though. Oh my gosh. The the door. He he fused with the door. November red Hey asshole kid. What the hell are you doing with my girlfriend? What'd you do to my window? Uh where is he? He he disappeared again. You shitty brats. How dare you? How dare you? You touched my girlfriend, you kicked her, didn't you? Jeez, would you shut up? I'll give you a real injury to complain about if you don't pipe down. You're in the way, now get lost. There's no sign of blood dripping from the ankle. Where now? This is bad. We can't tell him apart from the scenery. Where is he? We totally lost him. That's my watch. Huh? Your watch? You're kicking it. That whole ordeal made it fall off your wrist. Be careful. Uh, you kicked the watch? D Dragonachon? Oh shit. Look over there in that direction. The watch is moving. There you go again. I said don't kick it. Oh, what are you doing, you idiot? Oh, just calm down. Pick it up. That's $80,000. It's a watch. It's not running away from you. Hey, 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 hey. It kind of looks like it's running away. Is that watch trying to return to the lava rock? That beach. That guy must have ran off towards the beach. It started rolling. The diamond is trying to go back to it, too, in a mandarin sort of way. The diamond is rolling that way, too. There. Let's head down. It's all seawater and clouds over here. But, but, but this has got to mean he's swimming in the water right now. How are we going to find him? He might be trying to escape out into the open sea. No, it might not be possible for us to find him now, but we can still corner him. We just need to get him to attack us. If the enemy is running away with a lava rock, then he's going to have to. Christ's sakes, the scum sucker. So he's peeking at us and hiding somewhere on this beach. I'm going to kill that asshole. Uh, it just moved to the left. It's kind of, sort of, in that direction, I think. But... He should be to the left right now. Make sure you hold on to that thing tight. That thing's six million dollars. Don't drop it into the water. Now, Jodio, your rain. What's the attack range again? November rain's range is a three meter radius and a height of four meters, but it can only rain on the water surface. It cannot dive deep into it. Okay, I see. Let's check the rubber rafts. I'll get him to show his ugly mug. D uh, Dragonichon, listen, uh, Paco said this guy in Mafia, but this guy's seriously dangerous. Like, we don't know who the hell this guy is, or to start off with, but he's cold-blooded, and he doesn't hesitate. He's a seriously tough guy. I don't think Paco and Jodio know that what they're talking about. This guy seems way too high-level for us folks like us. Usagi, we're thieves who came here to make money. From society's perspective, we're losers. But what matters most is this moment. I'm sure that even our enemy is in a frantic state right now, but we'll come out on top in the end. I know it. If we let our fear get the best of us at the last moment and lose everything, it'll haunt us. Even after we get back to our homes in Oahu, we'll be thinking, oh, if only I had done this or that forever. That's what's really dangerous. <gasps> right behind Paco. Oh, hey, turn around. Paco, swing that hand. He, he's here, right in front of us, inside the wave. What wave? Where? The splash, he's inside the water spray. He's gonna go for the ankle! Oh! Paco! Got him. Kid, back at the start. I was kind enough to give you a chance to give up on the lava rock. Now die. Okay, okay. 
November Rain is so cool, though. You know what? You know what's crazy, though? Tusk, like, I bring up Tusk for one reason. And Soft and White for another reason. Same reason, actually. Tusk was introduced a little bit late because Johnny didn't initially have his stand at first. Or he did, but it wasn't. It was for a long time that we got to see Act 1. But... November Rain and Soft and Wet are some of the coolest introductions to, to Joe Star protagonist of stands. Am I spitting? It, it's just so like, I cannot, man, I cannot wait to see more of November Rain, but like, November Rain and Soft and Wet are some of my favorite stands. Like, they, they're just so cool, man. Oh my gosh. Jodio, he just broke the blade of the knife. Did, did he win? It looks like he broke it, but November Rain can only strike the surface of the sea doesn't work deeper into it. Ooh! They're fighting underwater. They're fighting underwater. This is so sick. Wait a minute. This is like when Gappy fought uh, the first rock human. Okay. I'll kill you. Maybe if you can keep reading long enough to, we'll just see about that. Yeah, I get you. Huh? Wait, he's gonna use the raft to, to bring them up. Usagi's the goat again. Usagi is the Usagi is the goat. He's the goat. <laughs> what do you think? The rain's still pouring down. Yeah, it'll be lasting for a while. But uh, that means he's okay down there, right? If the rain's still pouring down from above, that means he's alive down there below. Yeah, that's right. It's Jodio's stand, so it must be the case. And the enemy should be nearly drowned down there. Say I've been thinking. The guy down there. I said I was gonna kill him from before. I take that back. Let's make him one of us. Huh? What? I get the impression that he's a pretty good guy. <laughs> like his knife wielding sucks ass. And I said before he cut off the cat's heads and showed them to Jodio. But when I took a peek inside the bag after all, it fell on the ground earlier. It turned out it was another one of his uh, tricks. He used his ability to make stuff like other stuff to threaten Jodio. The bag that I just had three potatoes inside. So based on that, I think he's keeping the three cats as pets in the jungle. And it looks like this guy's down there and he knows about the characteristics of the lava rocks. That even that mangaka Kishibe knows. Ain't that right? So we can make this a win-win situation for both of us. Dragona, let's team up. Tell your little brother not to let him drown. Right, you're kidding me, right? There's no way. Just find you, idiot. Don't call me an idiot. I'm gonna watch you that, remember? Well, you are an idiot, aren't you? Who the hell kicks a luxurious watch into the ocean? And you can bet it wasn't waterproof. I think I'm gonna go. I'm feeling a little chilly all of a sudden. I think I'll catch a ride with somebody else. Y you're kidding! I'm kinda... kinda... Off to a new encounter, to be continued. Hold on though, what? Next cover art too. I'm looking at the next cover art and no way. There's five of them now. Look, guys, the Jojo lands part nine, the group heads to Oahu, chapter 12. His name is the Charming Man. That's his name? The That's his name, the Charming Man. What? What do you guys think? I, I don't know. I don't know. That is really cool, though. Something I wanted to talk about was it, it was very reminiscent of what Jodio like. We're, we're gonna go in order. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm gonna try really hard not to scatter. But I want to comment on this first before I forget. I like the speech that Dragona gave to Usagi. Usagi, oh my gosh, it's very similar to what Jodio said to Paco in our last video that if you're not determined or if you're not willing to go all in on this, you're done. Your life could be done again. Drugona and Jodio almost died in this video. Like, they were close to death. I'm not gonna say they were like really close to death, but they were the closest of the members so far to almost die. They were both slashed in the throat, and if it wasn't for the rain in them healing themselves, then, or smooth operators being able to sort of heal themselves in a way, then they would have died, right? So, 
I'm gonna see like like we're actually you know what no 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 because I I want to talk about that speech but we're gonna leave that in for the uh, for like when we get there but for now we have this mysterious person's name the charming man I think so I think his name is the charming man so far but honestly guys one thing I want to say before I flip my screen around is the black and white so far I think with this being our first video being the black and white chapter wh what chapter was this it was this was chapter 10 so yeah so the 10th chapter we started off with black and white it was clean though I don't know why but it, it gave off a feeling of cleanness I don't know why but it, it was very clean that's all I could really say we'll check out the colorings uh, later if I remember um, but for right now let's go over like the entire chapter of what happened if you ignore the warnings, all that awaits you is death. So, I'm not gonna lie, very reminiscent to the first rock human fight with Norisuke, that being the introduction to King Nothing, and then Soft and Wet fighting over Yasuo and stuff, and, and, and the Rokakaka. So, it was like, th like that fight, very similar because it was Jodeo and him underwater. And something I didn't know about the November Rain stand ability is that it can't pierce through water. So it can't go through certain objects like water, but that, and it has a very small radius. Like, in my opinion, what did it say? Two or three meters? We'll go, we'll, we'll find it when we do, but... Yeah, this whole fight was sort of like Jodeo being injured and kind of like Paco being on the offense, like battling him. And then it was like a, it was like a back and forth exchange of learning about the ability, but also these small little hints of the Lava Rock. Again, with how these two chapters are, they were slowly paced, but in a good way. And let me explain. The reason why I think they were like sort of slowly paced, because they could have easily rushed the fight a lot more faster, but... They were slowly paced in a good way for a multitude of reasons, but I'll, I'll go off the first one. The first one, I feel like the reason why I feel like it's slowly paced in a good way is because if they rushed the fight, we wouldn't have had Dragona's speech to Usagi right then and there. We wouldn't have had Dragona, it, like sort of like the buildup of Dragona and Usagi pulling up on our duo, uh, that being uh, Paco and Jodeo and kind of like letting that fester for a second it would just be like rushed it would be half baked in a way and I'm gonna flip the screen around to one of my favorite uh, panels let me see if I can find it a lot of this video is dynamic it was very dynamic it was just back and forth like um, Jodeo being injured but then uh, switching to the couple the couple was like a reoccurring thing in these couple chapters right I thought that was kind of funny Paco fist fighting with the Chair, uh, charming man. I was about to say chairman, but the charming man. And then Dragona and then Usagi come out. Uh, the charming man disappears. But then, but then, as they see the rock, because they, they, you know, they're trying to go somewhere else. The the watch is coming back to them, but it's actually the charming man. They fight him again. They go to the car. The charming man attacks them again. And I was thinking to my mind, like thinking in my mind, this entire video, how are they going to get him? The lava rock. Didn't even cross my mind to like the second chapter of this video that they can use the lava rock as a as a sort of like a compass in a way, right? But it was, let me see, one of my favorite panels here. It was like right when, right when Paco had him cornered, he re he like reappeared his hand behind him to try to stab him in the neck, but then he dodged. Like to me, that was just so cool. And even throughout the whole thing, it was kind of just like Paco telling them to lock in and focus. Like, focus. This is a real fight, you know? And I thought here that the watch was going to come back to them. I thought the watch was going to finally come back to them that fast. That's nah. Of course, that wasn't. it wasn't going to be that easy. Lo and behold, it was the user appearing right before Dragona. Right here. And in my mind, I was like, oh my gosh, this guy's pretty damn good. Like, in terms of usability, he's probably the most OP member besides Jodeo. And I, I would argue Paco's up there too. I'd, I'd argue Paco could probably beat Jodeo, but it depends on how fast November Rain is. 
But I think November Rain is really fast. So I think November Rain does, would beat Paco. Like, Jodeo is ironically the strongest. But then this guy, him versus Jodeo was a really good fight. Like, that that was really cool. Appearing right before Dragona, slitting the throat, slitting, slitting the throat. And then, bam, all of them are just in shock right now. Bro, I was trying so hard not to scream. Because this whole video would have just been me screaming. And then Jodeo used November Rain around the entire area to sort of, like hit the user, and then look, uh, my face cam's covering it, but it hits his feet, barely. And, 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 and Jodeo, while Dragona's leaking, Jodeo's like, ooh, you, you messed up, you messed up. I thought right then and there we were gonna get some dark determination, but nah. <laughs> Low too early for that, right? Low too early for that. I'm gonna see if I can flip it around for the next part. The, the funniest part was this right here, when Usagi was like, no, Dragona, I love you. And then Dragona was like, look, more importantly, he took the lava rock. Uh, thanks, but we siblings aren't particularly interested in that. <laughs> Dragona was like, look, I'm not, I'm not looking for anybody right now. We're trying to get this money right now. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, hey, I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> it just made me laugh. The biggest thing that I want to sort of comment on is something that I spoke about in my Jajolian video for Wonder View versus Soft and Wet Go Beyond. And that is the art style. I believe like the paneling and the way that this art, it's so clean. Like I thought Jojo Land had the best start in terms of art style. Jojo Land surpassed it in my opinion. Like I, I in terms of, if we're, if we're comparing the first three to maybe even 10 chapters, the art style is so redefined in this part. It's insane to me. It really is insane to me, and it makes me think even more and more and more upon not just what these lava rocks could do, it's cycling back, or cycling back onto track and off the lava rocks. Um, that, what are these lava rocks, what can they do, what are they actually about, and now we're cycling back to the art style. How much can the art style really improve? Like, in chapter 50 to 100, how crazy the art's gonna be, guys, like, what is November Rain going to be looking like in chapter 50 to 100 late down the road? What, like, I get Paco wanted to recruit them, but what's the, what is the, we don't even know who this chairman guy is, or chairman, we don't even know who this charming guy is, so why, why recruit him? I get that he's, a val he could be a valuable member, but we don't know anything about him, and I'm guessing we're going to learn more about him as time goes on. With a lot of the members, we don't know much about them either. I mean, Jodio said it best in my beginning of Jungle Warfare that I'm not going to be working with these pieces of shit forever. Like, even Jodio doesn't look at, look at these people as, 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 as comrades in arms, but it's the mechanism that he believes in that 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 is always going to allow him to win or or to stay on top right these dynamic panel look at these dynamic panels right here these panels right here of just like jodeo dodging but then kicking the car door like that he's got the him and gabby hey they got hands johnny he had that skill but he ain't really had too much of hands because he couldn't walk but <laughs> like gabby and then jodeo really got the hands for real and then this part right here, where Jodeo is dodging the shards of glass and the swipe again, saying November Rain. Like, the paneling here and everything, this is insane. Like, this might be because, this might be because this is the first video where we're doing black and white, and I'm able to admire the lines a little bit more, because the colors aren't really oversaturating the actual art. Um, I'm able to sort of, like, look at the, the paneling and the art style a little bit more. It's fire, like, it is, it is fire. And throughout this whole thing as well, Jodio was very, his battle IQ, right? 15 year old kid, yeah, we know, but he liked that though. Y'all notice that? Like, Jodio, him and Paco, they're a very underrated duo. I said that Dragona and Jodio are like my favorite duo of Jojo Land so far. Not just because like, they, they consider themselves brothers, but really it's last video, luxurious watches in this one jodeo's speech to paco and then dragona's speech to usagi uh jodeo's speech about if you're indecisive then don't move with me i've already made my decision so you have to make yours the moment's hesitation could lead to a moment of hesitation could lead to the end of not just you but our entire group so you need to you need to decide what you're going to be doing in life which is crazy. And then Dragona, what did Dragona say? 
I'm gonna see if I can scroll down. I don't wanna I don't wanna skip this too much, but you're gonna basically said let me see if I can find it real quick, that we're thieves who came to make money. So from society's perspective, we're losers. But what matters in this moment most is that the enemy is in a frantic state right now. If we let our fear get the best of us in a moment, then we lose everything. It'll haunt us. That's what's really dangerous. It's the fear of regret. It's the fear that if you do something and you mess up, something bad could happen that could linger over you more than, than, than the possibility of messing up in that moment then. So very uh like we sort of got more character on dragona here but also character from jodeo in the previous video they're both very alike with their ideals and how they're going about the part so far like how they're going about this little uh theft journey on how to get rich so they have like it, it's with their ideologies it's too early to tell for me right now um uh, for me to tell but it's 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 what how are those ambiguous messages going to be played later on for the story? You know, because we I can sit here and talk as much as I want about, oh, like, we know Dragona, we know Jodeo, but we don't know know them until like, it's going to be a it's going to be a long time. But as for right now, it's the tidbits of what we think we know and what they could mean like right now and what it could mean for later, you know, but I'm going to go back. Let's go up here. This panel right here. This is one of my favorite panels too in the video is when they were admiring like the beach and everything. Like it looks clean, guys. It looks really, really clean. I like it, right? And one thing I will say, mid-discussion, by the way, mid-little interruption for our discussion, I might have some news on what's going to be happening for me in terms of July. And I'm not going to say anything yet, but what I will say is that there is a possibility for something to happen for me and it's something i'll be talking to you guys later that involves the jojo lens but also some similarities between that but I'll, I'll let you guys know when i let you guys know but anyways we're back with the discussion the paneling right here going down to uh the the sort of like stoic calm expression from jodeo saying no it's it might still be possible to beat him gave me some determination of that joe star uh johnny and gappy vibes that's what it kind of gave me right then and there scrolling down a little bit here too something i wanted to highlight on november's range is only three is a three meter radius with a height of four meters so it's it's kind of big but not 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 really it, 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 the the ability is again very soft and wet slash tusk act one or two vibes very basic for now but that could very well change obviously later again we don't know if november rain will get a transformation like some requiem situation or if it's going to get uh or i don't even want, well it's more of like another form well as of tusk it was more like an evolutionary type of thing like pokemon or something and then uh, soft and wet was just another extra ability to the already pretty strong stand that being it can take something away i don't even remember how far gappy's bubbles would travel right just no his normal standard bubbles but it seems like for for now we we finally have some more information on november rain and the ability with the height range meter and everything like that in between but it, Oh man, I'm just excited to see like what how versatile could it be because in this video too We got some versatility on smooth operators being to technically heal Anybody kind of kind of it reminds me of, like Bucciarati's sort of stand from part 5 where like he can unzip himself But it, but that isn't really healing. He can just avoid danger. So take that as you will but aside from Dragona's resolve and personality a little bit more to November Rain's ability, the big highlight of this video is the Charming Man. Again, his stand ability, it's, it's almost like Wu Tomoki, right? Very similar to Wu Tomoki in a little bit of Chocolate Disco from Steel Ball. Like, and, and yeah, Wu Tomoki from Dijolian. That he can sort of dissolve himself so he doesn't really have like this physical humanoid stand like this harvest looking multiple pieces of a stand his whole body is just a stand in itself but why did the charming man want to like like he's in the cover art for the next part so he might be allies with their squad but it's a matter of why though how did they convince him and why 
For all we know, the Charming Man just wanted the Lava Rock, and that's really about it. But my theory is, for right now, that I feel like the Charming Man doesn't know that much. As we think we might- as we think uh, that he might know, I feel like he might not know a lot. I feel like he'll know bits and pieces, but he's gonna be just in the dark as we are. And after this arc, because really, uh, the girlfriend leaving the guy with the watch and the woman catching the fish, uh, the, the woman catching the fish with the watch in the mouth too, which is crazy at the end. So it's still going through its cycle to eventually lead back to Dragona and the squad. What's gonna happen, like after, they're gonna return the diamond, but what's next? What is next? Again, this, the, the sort of, this is how I got rich in the subtropical islands, it's, it's much more ambiguous then this is a story about breaking a curse, in my opinion. Because, or I don't even want to say ambiguous, but it's a lot more like freelance upon what does that actually mean. Um, well, actually, you know what? No, no, no. I take that back. The curse is a lot more ambiguous. Uh, it's I'm trying to think of a different word, but the curse could mean a multitude of things. But the chain of events, that being the rock humans attacking. Gappy in the, in the family in the Higashikadas to the assassins being sent by the president of Steel Ball. What are the enemies going to be like of this part? Are they all going to be after the Lava Rock? Is it, is it going to be that simple as them just trying to get the Lava Rock? Or maybe this part is going to be the group taking on a multitude of heists or a multitude of, of maybe they're going to be robbing banks or, or, or something. Again, that would be really, really cool. And I feel like with Jodio's character, he really gives me the vibes of like an anti-hero, sort of. Like, I'm not gonna say he's doing the right thing now. Like, he he's obviously not the filthy rich, I'm gonna rob people, yeah, that ain't really the most righteous thing. But, to say like he's downright evil, let's not, I can't really assume that on Jodio's character as of right now. Like, I, I just can't really assume that right here. Uh, this is when Jodio was like wrestling with the Charming Man right here. The Charming Man looks pretty old too. Like, eh, for all we know, the Charming Man could be their age, but eh, I think he's probably older. It's them wrestling underwater. That was just so cool to me. It's them fighting underwater right here so cool bro that is just, like to me it's a lot it's 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 different for a first uh person fight the cat was technically their first stand fight but this is like another fight again we got two stand fights rohan doesn't if you really want to count rohan we had three stand fights in less than 10 chapters insane by the way but it was this part right here and he's like you know what i've been thinking let's take him let's take it back i'm gonna take it back and let's make him one of us I have, I get the impression that he's a pretty good guy. Why do you think he's a good guy after everything that happened? His knife skill, his knife skill wielding sucks ass. <laughs> he said, look, hey, he may be trash, but he got some potential. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, what? That is just so stupid. And then sort of, uh, we end it, we end it with this. That being the our, our possible new squad here, the group heads to Oahu. So I'm guessing they boarded the plane. Those are the suitcases, and they made it back. So as of as hopefully I'm saying the name right. Uh, let me know if I'm saying the name right, guys. But we got Paco Laper Antares, Usagi Alohi, I believe so. The Charming Man, Jodio Joestar, and Dragona Joestar. This is our squad. Five members so far. So, huh. This was the most action-packed video. This this was probably the most action-packed. It it, it 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 actually beats it beats the last video 100%. What's next? What is next? That's always going to be that's always going to be sort of like the message or or tone that I'm going to be getting after the end of each of each part. What is going to happen next, right? A little bit off topic guys, but something I wanted to show you guys too. I have, I have an iPhone, so I have multiple wallpapers and stuff, but you guys see my wallpaper. You know, it's your boy, right? It's your boy. What is going to happen next? Like, in terms of Joestar, I like the, the possible theme or messaging for this part. Again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, guys. 
But hey, you guys know I'm always the go at calling stuff, sort of. So let me just call this real quick, right? Steel Ball, this is the story about how I was able to walk again in a mature-like way. He was able to grow as a character. This is a story about breaking a curse for Jajolian. And sometimes, and only sometimes, guys, maybe not all the time, but even when things seem impossible, all you gotta do is go beyond, right? So, for Jojo Lands Part 9, I feel like that's what Rohan said. No matter what happens, we gotta go all in. It's like a gamble. We gotta go all in. The dice have been cast. We gotta go all in. We gotta dream big and aspire on. That's what we gotta do. We are ambitions. We gotta... We gotta go all in, like it's, we gotta go, it's, it's all or nothing, right? So, and, and I feel like that's essentially what's gonna be the part. This part is gonna be uh, uh, a, a part of chance, a part of not just luck, but a part of, um, a part of uh, risk. So, uh, with luck, you know, luck too. If you guys are new, leave a like, subscribe. What did you guys think about this video? How'd you guys feel about our first, uh, not just JoJo video, but our first manga video, black and white? This will be continuing, by the way, not just for jo uh, Jojo Lands, but for all my other manga videos that I possibly plan on making for the future moving forward. Stay up on my community posts. I talk with you guys. I try to be up on there as much as I can. Uh, and I'm probably going to put, actually, no, I won't put this in the intro. It'll stay in the outro. But guys, 900 subscribers. You guys are crazy. Thank you guys so much. Share this video with your friends who like manga, Jojo's in particular. You guys know I'm carrying the Jojo, I'm carrying the Jojo Land scene on my back. I know I am. I'm literally the best Jojo's. Come on, guys. You guys see the star, bro? Is it is it right here? Wait, is it here? No, it's on the other side, right? You you guys know I got the tap, bro. Stop playing with me. Anyways, but yeah. Just like you like the video, turn on post notifications so you never miss videos by your boy. I got a members. Uh, check out the members, my second channel, top of the description. Be sure to check that out. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And man, this is our group now, a group of five. The heist is complete, we're done. And honestly, I took a little bit of a peek at the next couple chapters, and it's going to be sort of a narration. So we're going to be getting a continuation of probably after the squad. But as to what they're going to be doing next, we don't actually know for real. So, yeah. Yeah. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video of Jojo Lands. What's going to happen next? We got to dream big. All time, and I'm out. <laughs>